So y'all, this kind of deep. Oh, no. Um, this is California. So y'all, have y'all seen what's going on out in California? With California being flooded out, like people, cars going down, landslides just sliding away, people, big waves busting up in people houses, tearing the door off. Doors closed, but water seeping in up from underneath. You know, a lot of stuff is going on in California. So my heart goes out to California, and I want to say a prayer for California on Cooper's Closet. And I want to talk about this invitation, too, as well, but I'll get back to that in a minute. But listen, let me tell y'all something. Y'all, a lot, a lot of y'all know my mother was psychic as well, right? She, she was obsessed with California. My mother always had an obsession to California. She never been. She always wanted to go. Like she loved the city lights in California, would have been her place. So she, she would use her energy towards California, and she always somewhere figuring out California. Now, we in Illinois, she always in California. I come home and sit on the porch or in the house or whatever. This this kept up, this story kept up, always kept going. It never stopped with Mama. California gonna, gonna go under. I just used to listen to her. California gonna go under. And so, it was another time... I came home or she came home or whatever, whatever, whatever. She was watching some type of different part of National Geographics where they show like the land, land, like cities and stuff. They were showing California and she told me it was a bridge that one of those bridges were the water up underneath. Y'all know what I'm talking about? With the sea up underneath it. It was one of those bridges had broke. And people was going down. The cars was on top of each other going down the slope. And as they was going, I don't know. I don't remember if she said they was going down in the water. Yeah, they. I guess they. I'm assuming they was going down in the seas. But then they couldn't stop it. The, the cars was just falling off the slope going down. But then the other, about a week and a half ago, I was on TikTok. I was talking to this guy from California. And I asked him, I said, do you think California going to eventually go under? He said, I, I don't know, it might or something to that degree. I don't know. I don't remember what he said or if he said, yeah, I, I don't remember. But he said something to the nature where he knew what was going on. So I told him about that bridge that my mother told me that she seen on TV in California. He said, yeah, they fixed that though. Taking a chance like that. I don't know if I want to live in no California, like California. It's California, you know, but I, I you know, like, I don't know the the invitation is like after y'all surpassed this, Y'all don't have to stay there. Y'all got an option to leave. Like, a place like that is scary. Like, that place, ever since I was a kid, I've always heard anybody say California one day is going to go under. But at the time, I wasn't invested in it yet, but I'm invested in it now. And so when I did start to put a little theory behind it, I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking if it do go under... It's going to look like how the Atlantic City went under, went under that everybody thought was a mythical city because it went underwater. But it wasn't a mythical city. I looked it up. Those were the Romans. They were the ones that built the first uh, European showers. Like, they were higher than uh, Egyptians, like hieroglyphics and math. They was, like, on a different level. That city went under, but they was Roman and Greek and goddess with it. That whole city went under. They... So I'm like, California would, if California went under, California 
would open people's eyes to the fact that Atlantis is not a mystical city. Like, I watched Atlantis on National Geographic. Like, there was, there's nothing mythical about the city of Atlantis. And, and California, I just want to do some research on this because that, that, that water, I wouldn't want to die that way. Some houses start sliding off of their foundations going down the street. This woman had bought a dream home that had a backyard. It was off of some lake or something. The water got loose or something and came and flooded the whole house out. Six feet something house flooded the whole house out. Took the backyard. Made it a part of the water on the side, the dirt and dust on the side going down the, this river so they had to demolish the house and it was a beautiful house she said you had to have some type of insurance for this uh flood some type of special flood insurance but she said most people don't have that it's extra so it's a lot going on but just wondering if you're going to stay there. And some, guess what? Some are going to stay there because even with New Orleans, right? When that stuff went down with Katrina, they had gave them people ample time, I think like a week or two to get out of there. They was diagnosing, or it could have been earlier, I don't know, but I think they had enough time to get out of there. It was some people that was leaving that was getting stuck on the highway running out of gas trying to leave and get out of there and then it was some people get an interview saying new orleans was their home and they wasn't leaving they said they if they gonna die in new orleans and they did you know some people crazy about their homes and but some of these people that felt like that they were older i guess they felt like they had lived their life and they weren't stepping outside of new orleans and they didn't and they had time to leave. But like I said, too, I'm pretty sure a lot of people died on that highway, you know, trying to get away from that hurricane because they were running out of gas. Everybody was trying to go. The, the highways were jammed up. Yeah, I just don't know, like, if... If, if maybe you want to look at another location, like I, I feel like a lot of you just want to look up another location um, that doesn't come with this type of pain and suffering. Like that got to be something wa watching your house go down the street or that got, it was a man in the water holding on to an old man. The, the, the water was about to drag him. That man held, had all his might, saving a 70, 80-year-old man from being flooded away. The water was ready to take him. Only thing was stopping him was that man. And the only thing that was helping that man hold that man in a storm in the current like that, stable, was God. That's it. That's all. So, I just get the feeling a lot of you... You gon you gon you you gon you gon you gon you gon get the seed planted to get ready to jump ship after all of this. Forget trying to make the house over and start a brand new. Forget this and that. They said y'all are below or above something, the sea level. So I, I get it, but I don't get it here, but I get it there. You know, like I don't care what man do. He's he's not going to win. Like they put these levees up, right, for New Orleans. But when the flood came, like it broke the levees. Like you dealing with dead weight. And then you dealing with like godly weight. Like what? There's nothing the levees could have done. That's... They were looking at that and building that on a man level. They were building a 
the possibilities what could happen out of their eyes. They had it covered on the ground, but see, it didn't roll in on the ground. It rolled in like this. I don't know, you know, I, I, I don't know. Y'all, yeah, yeah, sometimes maybe I just be talking. I, I, I ain't got nothing to talk about. And then it was something going on with Texas. You know, so, so I, I'm just wondering if these hot spots is... I mean, I know they're nice hot spots, but I'm just wondering if they... If, if they worth what you believe in or something. I don't know. But like I said, like... Some Texans, they're going to tell you the same thing. I was born and raised in Texas, and I'm, I'm, I'm dying here. I ain't leaving outside of Texas. Texas is all I know, and Texas pee hot sauce on my chicken. Some people going to feel like that about Texas. But for the ones that don't, I think you better pull out a map and find you... <laughs> find you a new area. Like, what... what? You mean to tell me after witnessing some stuff like this and a lot of people not even having had the insurance to even replace these homes, you mean to tell me you 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 that confident to put your life in, in that city like that? And I want to look and see if I can see anything about California going under. Y'all, they, they take my energy. <sighs> Will California eventually fall underwater? It says no. California is not going to fall into the ocean. California is California is firmly planted on top of the Earth's crust and location where it spans two technical plates. Y'all, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Survey estimated that without intervention, as much as 67% of South California beaches could be lost, rising seas by the end of the century. I'm telling y'all, I don't, I don't believe it. Will California eventually fall off into the ocean? No. The San Andreas Fault System, which crosses California, the San Salton Sea in south to Cape Metro Sobody in the north, is boundary between Pacific Plate and North Plate. This stuff is in the physical realm. This stuff here is in the physical realm. What happens to all of this stuff when the when 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 the when the real war come? When father meet that guy, what happens to all of this then? I don't. This is on a physical realm. How long before California breaks off? The only part of California that was separate from the rest of North America is part to the west of the San Andreas Fault as the Technoc Plate boundary is about 20 million years in part of what is now California will become an island and will be drifting north. But, but they said that it wasn't going to fall at all at first. Remember the first thing we read? No, because it sits on the something in the action plate down by North Hemisphere ZZ and all of this stuff. It, it, it wasn't falling. But here, now parts of it might fall. We be that came down here and find out all of it's going to fall. What will happen to California when the big one hits? The U.S. Geographical Survey estimate that upwards of 1,800 deaths and more than 200 billion in damages could occur the earthquake hits. Experiencing earthquakes, but this is earthquakes. Oh, okay, well, hold on. 
Experiencing earthquakes isn't anything new to the Golden State with hundreds of earthquakes per year being regi registered across the state. No, I don't believe it. Will California eventually fall underwater map? Hold on. Where are we? See now it's getting it's getting off task. Y'all, I don't believe it. Them bridges, them people was falling down. I don't think they, do they have enough money to keep California maintained is what I want to know. I, listen, that's from a, that's from a, that's not from a biblical standpoint. It's what's for the earth. It's not for what's up there. I can tell you that. Something, something, people, people that already fell off in California. And they already talked about parts that's going to fall off. And parts have been falling off these bridges and carrying on. Yes. So listen. I don't know what, what we going to do, y'all. Is you staying in California after our, our, our because, like, I, I don't know. They said something about global warming is what's causing this, that something about something supposed to be iced up and it's heated up due to man messing with it and it's causing global warming and it affected California. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? I think it's going to eventually go under. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Do you think it's going to go under? Or you think it's going to stay like it is? At first they said, no, it's not falling. Then they said, a slice of it. Cougar's closet. Mwah.